Hi, I'm Dan Roshan with Keller Williams Realty and GreetingsVirginia.com. And today we're going to be talking to you about 1031 Tax Deferred Exchange. Before we get started, here's a couple things that I'd like for you to notate. If you're interested in buying a property, you can access our full home search here on the uh, video blog or here on the blog. And, or uh, if you're interested in possibly you know, getting the value of, your, of one of your properties, free value report that's, that's available as well. I want to talk to you about 1031 tax deferred exchange. So one of the things that as an investor that, that I talk to you know, and we work with on a, a regular basis, that, uh, that an investor could take as a strategy to be able to defer taxes in the sale of an investment property is what's called a 1031 tax deferred exchange or also a like kind exchange. And so what that is, is that you could take a, you could take one investment property and you could sell it and then you could buy another investment property and the gains that you have on the first property, they could be deferred. Now there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of really uh, nitpicking type things that you have to be aware of and making sure that you're working with somebody that can really understand all the rules, et cetera. Some of those rules are is that when you sell your first property, you can sell multiple properties. And if you, when you sell your first property, you have 45 days to identify the, the very next property, uh, the one that you're going to ultimately purchase. Uh, now, there's a thing that's called a three property rule. So what the three pro uh, property rule is, is that you can identify three properties within those 45 days, and then you have to buy within 180 days. Um, or you can do what's called a 200% rule. So say if you if you want to you know maybe consider more than three properties, you could uh, do four or more properties as long as the value doesn't uh, exceed 200% of the property that you're selling. And then finally, the last thing to be aware of is called a 95% exception. So the value if it does exceed the 200%, then 95% of the properties that you identify would have to be purchased. Now I know that may be a little bit confusing, so excuse me. Uh, I intended to put this as basic as possible, but if you are an investor and you're in a position where you want to consider some options to be able to defer taxes, give me a call today. You can contact me at 703-562-1788. You can always email me, dan, at greetingsvirginia.com. Visit our official company website at greetingsvirginia.com, and I look forward to helping you.